If you've ever encountered this origin is not installed error message, then you're in the right place. Hey gamers, welcome to Gamer Image, your destination for The Sims 4. My name is Alex, and if you're into fixing and modding your Sims adventures, then you're in the right place. On this channel, I share my software, diagnostics, and other tips and tricks for The Sims 4 with you. I also create Windows apps to help with Sims 4 issues, problems with the EA app, as well as other things to fix your game. So join me as we dive into the amazing world of The Sims 4 together. Now, this is a two-part episode where this issue becomes a total pain in the <laughs> This specifically happens when you have both EA and The Sims 4 installed. The game launches fine through the EA app, but when you try to launch TS4 underscore x64.exe, the actual game starter, you get this ugly error message mentioning... Origin? And... Just a preface, Origin is absolutely not on this PC, guys. So in this video, we're going to go over several items that could possibly fix this issue. Stay tuned till the end for some great news. The first thing to do is make sure that your antivirus is not blocking the TS4.exe file itself. I personally have Avast antivirus, but the process is essentially the same to add folders to your exceptions list. The best way to figure out what your firewall or antivirus program is is to open the settings app and look for antivirus, which will then open virus and threat settings. In here, you'll either see that Microsoft Defender is doing the job for you, or you have another program installed to handle this for you. Click open app if you have this option. Adding exceptions to the antivirus programs are generally the same, however, some are more complex than others. Here, you'll see how to add the entire Sims 4 game installation to Avast's list. However, I recommend doing some research on how to do it for your specific antivirus software. Try to open the EXE again, and if this fix doesn't work for you, then continue on. Next, we're going big. It's possible the actual Sims 4 game could be causing issues. Go ahead and open the add and remove programs. Search for the Sims and uninstall the Sims 4. This is really fast for some reason. Exit and restart the EA app. Now, walk through the steps to download a new copy of The Sims 4. Make sure to click the Change button if you want to move the game to, say, an external SSD or HDD. External hard drive. After it downloads again, go ahead and try to open the actual EXE again. If you continue to get that Origin is not installed error, then continue forward. For this next section, I recommend downloading Revo Uninstaller. The free version is completely fine here. Pause the video here if you need some time to set this up. Awesome, glad to see you back. Once it's finished installing, open the Revo Uninstaller and check the list of applications installed for EA. If it doesn't appear, then this may be your final culprit. If yours doesn't appear, go ahead and physically open the EA app window. Move the window aside, and inside the Revo uninstaller, click the green Hunter Mode icon. Once clicked, it's going to open a little blue crosshair icon on your desktop. Simply drag this little crosshair straight into the EA window, and wait until the Uninstall or Remove shows EA or Electronic Arts with the right.exe target seen here. Once you let go, you'll see a little menu appear. Go ahead and click Uninstall. You should see some options appear for the scanning mode. Click Advanced and then select Next. After it loads, you'll see a bunch of entries appear. On this, you'll click Select All and then click Delete. Click Yes on this pop-up. This will delete all of the registry items associated with the EA app. Next, you'll see a list of files. Again, select Select All and Delete again. Again, click Yes. This will start up a loading bar and finish deleting all of the leftover files. If there are files that couldn't be deleted, that's OK. Just click OK anyways. Once you click Finish, this will close out the window. Now, go ahead and close out the remaining EA app window and exit the app from the taskbar. Be sure to try to open the app from the Start menu to delete any traces there too. Now, go ahead and get another download of the EA app and do the install. If you reinstall and come across the EA app is already installed, 
just click the repair button. After it downloads and installs everything, go ahead and open the app or sign in if you need to. Now the app should be installed and running. Go ahead and open the TS4 underscore x64.exe app for the last time. This should automatically start the game without any issues. So gamers, this sets the stage for my latest app. Introducing... Hey guys, check out this video that YouTube thinks is best for you, or check out my most recent video below it. Thanks for watching!